the Lord. My name is Pastor Rajesh Kedar. God bless you and your family. It's so wonderful to be to be here. It's wonderful to be with you, and God protect your family. And today we are going to talk on a wonderful topic by God grace, and the topic is joy of forgiving others. Oh, what a joy when 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 we forgive others by God grace, because to forgive someone is not natural. It takes supernatural. and that's why it's a grace gift but it's so wonderful to forgive someone i'm not talking about the superficial forgiving i'm talking about really forgiving someone deeply down from the heart and today is a day for that if you have any unforgiveness in your heart today with anyone hey today is a day to forgive them from the heart You know there are so many people in this world they 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 leave this world with so much of anger so much of grudge so much of unforgiveness in their heart the brothers and sisters is important to forgive everyone let's go to colossians chapter 3 verse 30 what he says here bear with each other and forgive one another If any one of you ha- has a grievance against someone forgive as the Lord forgive you. You know what he says here forgive as the Lord forgave you. It's very important that to forgive someone you have to know that you are forgiven by God. And that's what happened on the cross of Calvary. Lord Jesus Christ shed his precious blood. And because of that precious blood all our sins are forgiven. All our past sins, all our present sins, all our future sins we are forgiven totally. If you believe that, hey, you are born again. So it's very important to know that you are forgiven. Some Christian they believe that they are not forgiven. They think oh only the some sins are forgiven some sins are not forgiven oh the sins which I've done one year back oh that sin was horrible terrible that's not forgiven oh only the past sins are forgiven the present sins and the future sins are not forgiven hey you have to believe that you are forgiven once you believe you are forgiven hey then by God grace you can forgive someone. You know what it says here bear with each other and forgive one another if any one of you has a grievance against someone hey it's very important to remove that unforgiveness in your heart today it's important to remove that bitterness it is important to to remove that anger from the heart today because i believe today is a day which god has given for us This is a message for you and me to forgive everyone. Don't say that oh tomorrow I'll forgive. Oh next month I'll forgive them. No no. Today is the day. And we are going to pray to forgive everyone. Now I'm not asking you to call everyone and ask forgiveness. No I'm not asking that. See it's very important that to forgive someone from the heart. And that's very important. and it's not that you have to do the business with them again no it's not that important is that you have to forgive from the heart let's go to king james bible matthew chapter 5 verse 44 what it says here but i say unto you love your enemies bless them that curse you do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you what he says here hey love your enemies bless them that curse you do good to them that hate you that's the teaching of the bible that's not the that's not the worldly wisdom the world says if someone someone hate you hey you also hate him if someone is thinking bad about you hey you also think bad about him If someone persecute you hey you also persecute him If someone curse you hey you also curse him That's what the world wisdom But the Bible says here hey you have to love your enemies You have to bless them that curse you You have to do good to them that hate you My dear brothers and sisters My dear brothers and sisters we are living with unperfect people and therefore 
there is always a possibility that someone will hit you someone will hurt you this is always a possibility because we are living with the imperfect people our families are imperfect our office colleagues are imperfect in ministry we 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 dwell with our brothers and sisters but not perfect so we are living with imperfect people and therefore it's possible that the hurt comes they say the thing which really hurts you and that's why that's why we develop anger in our heart resentment and we keep the grudge in our heart for years and years you know there is so much of unforgiveness going on, on in this world and also there is for unforgiveness in christian families you know sometimes children they they find it difficult to forgive their father because they think that they are in this situation because of their father because their father was abusive because their father took the wrong decision and that's why they they are suffering today and and that's making them angry against their father and they're hiding their resentment in their heart they are not able to forgive their fathers i'm talking to those children i know that all fathers are not the same all parents are not the same but there are children who have gone through the abuse of parents but my dear brothers and sisters it's important today to forgive them it's important to forgive them if you're holding grudge today hey this is a time that you have to forgive from the heart you know husband cannot forgive his wife wife cannot forgive her husband i have seen in christian family there is so much of abuse that is going on between the husband and wife it really shocks me and that leads to the divorce why it leads to divorce because they don't want to forgive and after divorce more hatred is developed towards each other my dear brothers and sisters if you are going through this let me tell you hey it's important to forgive your husband it's important to forgive your wife but you'll say pastor my wife is 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 horrible is difficult to stay with her but my dear brothers and sisters it's it's important to forgive her pray for her you'll say pastor my husband is good for nothing I can't live with that man I hate I hate that man when I see him I hate him hey you have to love him you have to forgive him that's what lord jesus christ is saying to you you have to forgive your spouses you have to forgive your wife you have to forgive your husband hey you have to forgive your mother in law you have to forgive your father in law it's important I know they must have hurt you. It's important that you forgive them. Don't keep that grudge in your heart. Don't keep that resentment in your heart. It's important to forgive your family members. So much of unforgiveness going on among Christian family. It's important to forgive each other. It's important to forgive your your relatives. It's very important. It's important to forgive your your neighbors. Sometimes we love each other but we hate our neighbors. Hey, we cannot hate. Because the Bible says you got to love your enemies. Hey, love your neighbors. Forgive your neighbors. Do good to them. Forgive your office colleagues. They must have hurt you in your life. But you have to forgive them. This is a day to forgive everybody. There is so much of unforgiveness in church. I have seen so so much of unforgiveness against pastor. The members are not willing to forgive pastors even they abuse the pastors. Hey, you have to forgive your pastor. I know no one is perfect, but you cannot have unforgiveness in your heart towards the pastor. There is so much of unforgiveness among brothers and sisters in the church. they don't look at each other they don't want to fellowship with each other hey it's important to forgive our brothers and sisters my dear brothers and sisters today is a time to forgive everyone 
foggy people form the heart i'm not asking to call them i'm not asking to do the business with them again but but it's important to forgive everybody don't have any any grudge don't have any resentment in your heart if you have anything today hey it's time to to forgive them you know let's go to matthew 18 chapter 21 verse 22 then peter came to jesus and asked lord how many times shall i forgive my brother or sister who sins against me up to seven times jesus answered i tell you not seven times but 77 times you know peter he came to jesus and, said, and he said to jesus how many times should i forgive my brothers and sisters who sin against me maybe peter is having some tough time with them and peter also gave the answer up to seven times but jesus answered hey i tell you not seven times but 77 times so that's equals to 490 times so in other words jesus is saying hey i mean it's it's you have to keep on forgiving you have to keep on forgiving you have to keep on forgiving there is no limit and by god grace that should be our lifestyle because we are living in an imperfect world people are going to mess up even we hurt people even we say the sick thing to others which we are not supposed to say even we do the things to other which we are not supposed to do even we require forgiveness it's important to forgive others because it's going to happen people will hurt you people will think bad about you people will persecute you but today is a day hey you have to forgive everyone and you have to keep on forgiving hey that's the lifestyle because very important let me tell you brothers and sisters there is a relation between unforgiveness and your health your health depend on whether you forgive or not this is serious because your health is dependent on that now i'm going to read some report this is not from any christian magazine this is from the doctors from the secular world I am reading an article from Johns Hopkins Hospital and you must be knowing that. You know what it says here? There is an enormous physical burden to being hurt and disappointed. See when when you feel hurt there is an enormous physical burden on you. See many people think oh there is no relationship between unforgiveness and uh, and our health because it's normal to have hatred towards someone to hate someone to keep a grudge in our heart it's normal and they think there is no relationship between the health and unforgiveness but see what it says here when you don't forgive someone when you have a when you have the hurt in your heart if you have the grudge in your heart it puts an enormous physical burden on your body chronic anger puts you into a fight or flight mode you know chronic anger you see some people get so angry towards other people which results in numerous changes in heart rate your heart rate changes blood pressure and immune response those changes them increases the risk of depression so it come depression comes from this when you have that resentment when you have that anger when you have that unforgiveness in your heart those changes then increase the risk of depression heart disease and diabetic among other condition so this is from john hopkins hospital now i'm reading from the university of Pen- peninsula when we don't forgive you eh, this is <laughs> from the secular media when we don't forgive you we put our bodies in the state of constant fight or flight mode you may be familiar with this term it speaks of a state of stress put on the body the flight or flight response was originally used when a large animal was coming after us but now we are experiencing other types of stress some of the following symptoms comes when we are in the fight or flight mode see when we hide resentment anger unforgiveness in our heart the body goes into the fight or flight mode what happens because of that 
your muscles get tightened causing an imbalance of pain in the neck back and limbs blood flow to the joints is restricted making it more difficult for the blood to remove water from the tissues and reducing the supply of oxygen and treatments to the cells normal process of repair and recovery from injury or arthritis are impaired very important to forgive someone clenching of the jaws contribute to problems with the teeth and jaw joints headaches comes more often and to a more debilitating degree you get a lot of headache constant headache you wonder why it's happening hey there is anger there is resentment there is unforgiveness in your heart check chronic pain is worsen your covid is a level increase and that leads to weight gain hey your weight increases blood flow to the heart is constricted digestion is impaired breathing can become more difficult anger can impair the immune system increases the risk of infections and illness so what happens when there is unforgiveness anger what what it does it slows down your immune system so when your immune system is slow down hey there is a risk of infection and illness the body releases certain enzymes during anger and stress which leads to elevated cholesterol and blood pressure level hey this is what happens when you have unforgiveness in your heart this is what happens when there is anger there is resentment with someone there is there is a grudge in your heart my dear brothers and sisters it affects your health and therefore bible is always saying that you have to forgive you have to forgive people from the heart that's what the bible is saying let's see what happens when you forgive other now also this is from the secular world you know what it says here studies have found that the act of forgiveness can reap huge rewards for your health lowering the risk of heart attacks improving cholesterol levels and sleep and reducing pain blood pressure and level of anxiety depression and stress hey it's important to forgive others see there is a connection between your between your unforgiveness and your health when you forgive others hey you are lowering the risk of heart attack you are improving your cholesterol levels sleep reducing pain you are reducing your blood pressure let me tell you brothers and sisters if you have not forgiven someone today i don't know whom you have not forgiven maybe your mother in law maybe your father in law maybe your sister maybe your brother maybe your f- father maybe your relatives maybe your office colleagues hey maybe your church members hey today is the day to forgive them from the heart it's for your health my dear brothers and sisters again uh, benefits from the uh, secular uh, clinic uh, you must be knowing that's mayo what he says here that's in usa letting go of grudges and bitterness can make way for improved health and peace of mind what he says here letting go of grudges and bitterness can lead to improved health and peace of mind you know some some wonder oh i am doing everything i am doing exercise i am eating good food why my health is getting bad hey because there is bitterness there is unforgiveness there are grudges in your heart which you have kept in your heart for years and years forgiveness can lead to healthy relationship improved mental health less anxiety stress hostility lower blood pressure fewer symptoms of depression a strong immune system hey that's important strong immune system improved heart health improved self esteem hey this is what happen when you forgive others this is what the secular media the doctors are saying This is not from any Christian magazine hey this is what the doctors are saying that when you forgive someone hey it improves your health and that's why bible says hey you have to forgive let's go to Ephesians chapter 4 31 32 get rid of all bitterness rage and anger 
what he says is get rid of all bitterness if today you have any bitterness in your heart my dear brothers and sisters i don't know uh, what's there in your heart if you have any bitterness against someone you, if you have any anger against someone today is a day forgive them forgive them from the heart as i say so many people they live this world with so much of bitterness anger and foggyness in their heart but by god grace today is a day for you get rid of all the bitterness don't keep it get rid of all the anger against someone don't don't keep it in your heart heart is not a place for that heart is a place of love and forgiveness get rid of all the bitterness rage and anger brawling now what, what do you mean by brawling it's a fight and slander along with every form of malice be kind and compassionate to one another hey, be kind and compassionate to one another forgiving each other just as christ forgave you so on the cross the christ has forgiven us all our sins are wiped away all the sin all our sin is punished on the body of jesus christ he took all our punishment and because he took all our punishment today we don't have to go for any punishment because of our sins all our sins are forgiven as christ has forgave us hey it's important to forgive everyone because your health depend on that so my dear brothers and sisters today we'll pray and i pray for god grace to come in our heart so that we are ready to forgive everyone so let's pray just repeat after me lord jesus thank you so much for this time thank you for the grace which you have given to us to forgive everyone lord jesus i forgive my father i forgive my mother i forgive my brother i forgive my sister i forgive my relatives i forgive my neighbors i forgive my colleagues i forgive everyone who have hurt me who have thought bad about me who are planning bad about me i forgive them all today i forgive all my enemies i pray for my enemies bless them prosper them thank you lord father i pray all jesus christ name amen